Hello, microcurrent fans and um, do-it-yourself skincare enthusiasts, and I guess I should say uh, fans of natural skincare, natural aging. <laughs> um, I'm Christine Beyer, and um, I wanted to talk, a l I've been an esthetician for 17 years. I uh, just wanted to tell you, we're hands-on, working on people. Look, I have no fingernails. <laughs> a real esthetician has no fingernails. Well that you wanna to go to because we do a lot of massage. But I found this new little tool, I did a video on it recently, it's called the Anma. It was developed by my friend Jane Mann who is a, the facial fossa, fascia expert. And um, this lady is ingenious. So these are the fingers, these are the thumbs, and you can use these thumbs to push into pressure points. I'm a purser, I purse my lips a lot. So you can use it to press into, um, press into pressure points, which helps a lot. Oh, this feels really relaxing. <laughs> I didn't expect that to be, it's like oh, all this energy pouring out of there. And there's one down here. And um, this comes in the instructions for the Anma, but I just wanted to demonstrate a quick, quick use. Um, I hadn't used it in a while. I actually sold my last one before I went on vacation. And I was like, really? I'm gonna go on vacation without this? So um, basically, when I use the Anma on my clients, I come down here and I start to open up the lymph channels. So through here, this clavicle area, um, and I'm doing this on dry skin. And I kind of like it to do it on dry skin because it forces you to use a really light touch. And that's what you're trying to do is just release fascia. You're not trying to dig into the muscles because the fascia controls the muscle, not the other way around. And so when that fascia starts to loosen up, the muscles will follow. So I will open this up because this is where all the lymph that will drain from the face uh, will drain into. And so you want to um, open this up so you don't get a lymph traffic jam, what I like to call it. And your, your skin will get a little bit flushed. Um, this is the fast way of doing it. Jane, um, you know, fascia can get torqued down in any which dire direction. And I've worked on a lot of ladies lately that have really overdeveloped, um, well, forward developed uh, musculature in their neck, like their SCM, their sternocleidomastoid is really strong which it is on most people but it's pronounced because we're always pitched forward and with that forward flexion you get a um, you'll you'll see really wiry um, muscles through the skin like the platysma is this really thin muscle that covers all these other muscles that hold our neck up but when those muscles get shortened and contracted from always texting and looking down um, Instead of when we lift our face and we get that nice concave, you know, like lifting to our chin, it, they're contracted. So when you lift your neck back up, it's like this instead of in. So I, I, I've been doing this to a lot of my clients, just releasing the neck. And that usually involves releasing, you know, the, the traps and the back of the neck, the scalp. And you essentially just use the weight of the Anma to do all the work. But um, you get the tissues warmed up. And then when you're done with this, you can go in with your mini or whatever microcurrent machine you use. And it will just lift, lift, lift nicely because you're not going to have any tight fascia to um, pull, pull the muscle down. So if you have tight jaws, this is fantastic. So you're just gonna go in, and you can do it either way. I kinda like to avoid the top of the cheekbone. Jane goes for it. I, I feel like I, I have flattish cheeks. Jane has a lot of cheeks. <laughs> She's got more than me. So I like to um, kinda avoid those. But if you've got jaw things going on, oh, this feels so good. And I'll take it and put it on either side of the ear and do this. <laughs> it feels really good, and it helps release a lot of this jaw stuff it feels kind of strange but you know say la vie it feels good all right so and then you'll do sideways or diagonal and if you have if you have that 
where you can see the muscles through here, you'll, you'll want to loosen those up. You'll want to loosen those up. You want to loosen up down here. I work a lot on people. These guys, oh my God, they get so contracted. I can't remember the name of these, but they come down and I'll just be like, this thing is bumping all around, you know, and I'm not pushing, I'm not pushing, I'm just letting it, you know, it's going for the ride over the bumps. It's just going for the ride, right? And it starts to, I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, I, I just see it on people when they walk in. They're just like pitched forward and the muscles are contracted. Um, it's just a weird, it's a weird look, but it's a very common look. All right, so continuing on. So you're loosen up the jaw, loosen this up. I guess you can go very lightly over the cheeks. I mean, it does feel good, but I just, I like to keep that volume there. I've tried it both ways. And then up underneath this ridge, this muscle, I have a tendon and muscles that come down and connect to the side. So you can take it and go up underneath that and release that. This is in the instructions, right? And it actually feels really good. It'll get that, this little guy to pop back out. It gets, um, really kind of saggy with age and compacted and sort of thinned out so and then the eyes are like this I see I can't take off my eye makeup you, you go in between the fingers so I see if you start to see a difference in the two sides of my face and then I like to take it on clients and you know their faces are um, they're usually, uh, I do this during the masking phase and I have them under the LED. And so I'll just ever so lightly um, release the corner of the eye. And then I'll do it the same thing up above. And it feels kind of clunky, but it doesn't hurt. You know, if you're doing it as light as you should, it doesn't hurt. Oh, look at that eye fantastic <laughs> and then we do the forehead and you can get into the scalp really good to get into the scalp um, and if you feel a tender spot don't don't press harder just just linger 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 you know work it out I feel so much back here from looking down at clients so um, so that's about it I mean this a, a face that is massaged throughout its lifetime, especially, you know, past 30, is going to look way better than a face that has never been massaged and has only been injected with, you know, Botox and stuff. And I have nothing against Botox. I've had it done. I, I prefer the way my face looks uh, without it. I think it looks weird and shiny, strangely shiny. Um, and a strangely shiny and unlined forehead at, at, at 48 looks odd to me. But, you know, I don't uh, condemn anybody that does it because I understand that the quest for youthfulness. Um, I mean, I'm an esthetician. <laughs> but I can tell you a face that gets massage on a regular basis is gonna look so much better than a face that doesn't. And um, it's gonna feel better too. It's gonna flow better. You're gonna have better lymphatic drainage. You'll be less puffy. You'll be less wrinkly and you're opening up the microcirculation, which means the very top, top most layer of the skin, the first part, the stratum corneum, is dead, right? But underneath that, that starts to be diminished, like the, the blood supply to that area is diminished, and so is our hyaluronic acid. But doing this pulls that naturally derived hyaluronic acid up through the layers of the skin and starts to rehydrate it, and it also gets more circulation, and so, you know, without doing fillers and without doing all the, uh, God, it sounds like I'm so anti-fillers and I'm not. It's just that it's not always the answer. So if you can see the difference between the two sides of my face, and I didn't do my depressor. Um, the depressor is this muscle. It's the depressing depressor. It comes down like this. Right? It's like a triangle. Some people, well, it's also called the triangularis, but on me it gets really tight. And so you'll do it like this, you'll do it like this, but then I'll come in and go like in a triangular pattern with the grain of these guys. So I will 
I'm basically just pulling it um, and lengthening it because it gets contracted when we sit there in front of the computer and have them <laughs> resting bitch face. <laughs> which I think is funny. So releasing that pops up the corner of the mouth, right? And you look better. You can smile. Isn't that funny? That's almost... <laughs> So if you can see a difference between these two sides of my face, you need the Anma, no. Well, or, or get a massage. I mean, I don't care how you do it, but this little guy is just so clever. It just feels so good. And um, it's just, it just feels good and you look good after. I mean, look at my, oh, I gotta do my, my lips. Yeah, so many people hold a lot of stress in their lips. Here. And I'm a, I hold a ton of stress in my jaw. All right, so this is a quick tutorial. Um, I am selling this. It is $55 with free shipping. There is a link in the video and a link above. Um, and that's it. You also get into my, um, my group where I show, I share techniques and um, videos that I don't post here that are for our clients. It's just a way of me saying thank you for um, being a client. And, you know, it's fun to get to know you all because people post and it's just, it's fun. And you can ask questions and it's a nice little forum. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time. Excuse the chaos in the background. We're moving in like two weeks and there's like our new TV and all this crap back there. So stay tuned for shots from the new place. It's, it's going to be fantastic. Thanks for watching.